Gamers, what's up? Welcome back to today's video. Now, before I get into the topic of today's video, I just want to say I am so sorry for not uploading this Sunday. This video took ages to research and ages to put together, and I swear it's worth it. So make sure you tune in to the end. <laughs> so this idea came up when I was researching on TikTok and stuff, and I realized that Paul Zimmer and Jamie Rose hadn't posted in a while. So I was like, oh, they're probably just, you know, quit musically or TikTok, whatever you want to call it. So I went onto Instagram and they both haven't posted since April. Paul has removed both of his comments on all of his posts and the link from his bio and his bio. And Jamie herself has done it as well, but on a far scale. She has removed her profile picture, she's changed her username, and she has literally deleted all of her posts except one post, and she's turned off the comments, she's removed her bio, the name, unfollowed everyone, and so is Paul. And if you were on Musical.ly a couple of months ago, you would remember that Paul Zimmer and Jamie Rose got into a bit of a scandal involving Lively and money and it was just a bunch of drama. So a couple of months ago, if you don't know already, Paul Zimmer and Jamie Rose were the people on Lively that made the most amount of money. Now, really, there's nothing wrong with being the top person to make a lot of money. But the way he was gathering the money, like giving out his phone number, and I didn't hear about that. He was, you know, grinding up against the wall and like showing his abs and stuff to get the money. Now, that's kind of not okay since it's a kid's app. And another strategy that Paul did, which I think is the most dirty, is he would go onto the top gifting leaderboard before it was removed on Lively, and he would click onto the top gifters, and he would go into their comments and comment, hey, you should come to my broadcast, and if you're the top gifter, I'll give you this, this, and this. And he said he would give people the duets, but he never really... I never really saw any duets, and no one ever really did, which is why people started hashtagging ban Paul. Paul Zimmer. Okay, so uh, the band Paul Zimmer. Not only were there just a bunch of people hashtagging it, there were actual influential muses that some of these kids look up to and when their favorite influencer hates on someone, they're going to do the exact same thing, which causes more hashtags. And uh, it really hurts me that no one did anything to stop this. Musical.ly didn't do anything to stop this. Lively didn't fix the issue. And there's so much wrong with that because the app let the bullying happen. There's 100,000 tags of ban Paul Zimmer. How is that fair? No, this video is not about Paul Zimmer dancing, even though it should be. This is about the real reason why people hate Paul Zimmer. If you've been on this app for a long time and have been in Paul Zimmer's live streams, you'll know that he manipulates little kids into sending him gift points. He goes into Crown Music's top contributors and comments on their music leads. If you send me 100,000 gift points on my next live stream, I'll duet with you. He doesn't comment on any person's music leads. It's little kids' music leads who have their parents' credit cards hooked up on the device they're using so that when they send gifts, there's no limit. And when you go into his live stream and see somebody who has obviously sent more than 100,000 gift points, he says, You're so close to winning a duet with me. If you scroll down his page, there's not one single duet from any of those people who sent those gift points to him. Wake up, guys. He's manipulating little kids for money that he can clearly make without having to comment on people's music leads. There's proof, there's evidence. He's been doing it forever. He needs to be banned because I know that me and other musers are tired of it. It needs to stop. Repost this, share this, please. This is serious. And the worst thing is, Musical.ly still hasn't even removed that tag. It is still there for everyone to go look at. It's still there for everyone to still hashtag even to this day. And a really bad thing is, Musical.ly and Lively, they never set, they could have set up a meeting for Jamie and Paul to go to, but they didn't do that. 
even Musical.ly has made a change. It's now TikTok and they've refreshed their app and the hashtag is still there. They never told Jamie and Paul to make a duet page. I made a duet page to post all of my duets on. They could have told him to do more coin drops to give back to people or Paul could have just done that himself. And with this exact same situation, there are so many influencers out there who have the power to just scare other influencers off of social media, which is exactly what has happened to Jamie and Paul. So I'm talking about this because I have been through exactly the same thing. Now, just by the way, Caitlin and Mama are making a video on that today. So make sure you go sub to Caitlin's. <laughs> so before we get to this, um, I am not justifying what Paul did. In no way what he did was right, but I think it was a bit extreme on what kind of hate he got. And some of you guys think Paul Zimmer is the only person on there who is cringy, but there are tons of other guys on there that are just as cringy as him. I don't hate Paul in any way, but I just don't agree with some of the stuff that he did. You guys, some of the influences, some of people took it way too far. And I just don't believe that this should have happened to him. And what did he do? Well, I'm just about to pinpoint every single thing he did. He would make kids and even parents sometimes compete for the top spot on the top gifters leaderboard. The leaderboard on his broadcast, I have to say. But even with the parents, the parents would let their kids do this for more fame or they would do it to just please their kids. Okay, so back then, Top Gifters, they would send 100k gift points plus. Now, one Dabrielle back then used to be $80. And if they're sending 100,000 gift points, that is the equivalent to $1,600 a big issue I have with this entire situation is that Paul never said one word. Jamie never said one word. And I feel as if they made a Musical.ly or a YouTube video or even just went live without asking for any gifts, the situation would have got much better. But they did not do that and I just wish they would have done something. Another extremely big issue with the situation is moving Paul aside for a sec, Jamie was extremely extremely affected by this. She was receiving backlash for just being involved with Paul Zimmer. Now, on her lives, she would do reactions to people who sent her gifts. She would play a bunch of games. She would literally interact with them for hours on end. Now, I don't know about the duets. I feel as if sometimes I saw one or two duets once in a while. She didn't, she wasn't really active with the duets, but she still did every single thing she promised on her live broadcast. There is a hashtag, hashtag ban Jamie Rose. It's got nearly 150 tags. She did absolutely nothing wrong except being involved with Paul. And Jamie was one of the first people who actually contacted me because I'm not going to name any names, but people told other muses not to be friends with me. So she was one of the first people who actually contacted me and wanted to do it with me. And she was super sweet. She was super nice. And the way she contacted me just made me love her even more. She does not deserve any of what is happening to her. I do not agree with some of the things they did. I am not justifying what they did, but I feel like they don't deserve what happened to them. And if they made a return to social media, I would completely support it. If they started doing live broadcasts again, I would completely support it. But the fact that they were bullied off of social media for more people to come in, that is just completely wrong. As an influencer, I just want to get this message across. Don't bully people off of social media. They have been inactive for months. No one gave them a second chance. No one gave them a chance to redeem themselves. No one publicly said, oh, you know what, guys, we should probably stop hating on them. And everyone just assumed that they were the type of people they are just from that one incident. No influencer even came out to help them. They were like, oh, what if you were to do a coin drop day to fix your image or you could do a duets day. But no, everybody just, you know, bully them off. Don't hurt someone and be a follower just because everyone else is doing it. 
because it makes you just as bad as the person you're saying bad stuff about. So, a couple of months ago, um, Musical.ly decided to, you know, um, block the tags, hashtag gay, hashtag LGBT, LGBTQ, and, um, they couldn't ban Paul Zimmer, like, they bought those tags back, but, um, they couldn't, you know, still remove ban Paul Zimmer. There should be a quality for everyone. <sighs> but, you know... Drama keeps things alive, I guess. Here's a new hashtag you guys can do. Hashtag make musically ban hashtag ban Paul Zimmer. How about that? Or make hashtag no hashtag make TikTok ban hashtag Paul Zimmer hashtag. But for real, you get rid of those tags, which is absolutely disgusting, but you cannot get rid of ban Paul Zimmer like what? What do you what do you have to say about that? I know, I know. It's really sad, isn't it? I'm sorry you have to be in this cruel world. So, I would really enjoy doing an interview with Jamie and Paul. So, if you guys just happen to be watching this video, please contact me. I would love to do an interview. I would love for you guys to return to social media. And yeah, we all miss you. Your fans miss you. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below on your opinions on both Paul and Jamie Rose. Are you on their side or are you not? Or are you on my side and do you want them to come back to social media? Comment down below and make sure you share the video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!